guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a custom kernel to your Nexus 7 device. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is a kernel? Well, in layman's terms, or at least terms that I personally can understand, a kernel is simply the base uh, on which a ROM can be built. Uh, the kernel, it's like the base of the operating system. So without the kernel, you can't do much of anything. Uh, with a kernel, it specifies what the ROM can and cannot do. Uh, so with most custom kernels, they'll have support for things like overclocking uh, and brightness controls, different things like that, the gamma, color tweaking, and things of this nature, extra modifications, extra control of your device. Uh, these are the reasons why you would probably want to install a custom kernel. So today we're looking at uh, how to install the Trinity kernel. Uh, so you can head to the link in the description and download kernels from there. Uh, once you have that downloaded to your device, you'll need to reboot into recovery. If you're on a stock ROM, you'll need to use ROM Manager and just hit Reboot Recovery uh, once you're rooted and your recovery is installed. If you're on a custom ROM like me, I'm on Modico ROM, it has a reboot menu. So I can just reboot directly into recovery. Makes life a whole lot easier. So installing the kernel is pretty simple. If you're on a Jelly Bean ROM, obviously you want to only flash Jelly Bean kernels. Uh, this method works on any other device as well. So say like on my Galaxy Nexus, if I'm running an ice cream sandwich ROM, I want to make sure that I'm only installing ice cream sandwich kernels. Uh, some kernels do well with ROMs, other kernels don't do so well with the same ROM, so you kind of want to mix and match and see uh, what you get the best results with. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just wipe cache, and you'll swipe to wipe, and then you'll wipe Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe, then you'll go back and install, and you're looking for the uh, Alpha 6.4 kernel. Uh, if you're running the Trinity kernel, that's the latest one, so you just swipe to flash that. Once that's all installed, uh, you'll simply reboot the device. Now you can do this in either Team Win Recovery Project, or you could do it in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Either one is just fine. So as soon as this loads up, uh, with the Trinity, Trinity kernel on the Modico ROM, I don't have a power settings option in my settings. If you were running like a CM10 or an AOKP, you might have the power control settings in your settings. Uh, but for me, I'm going to have to use an app. Uh, CPU Manager is what I'm using now. Okay, so the app that I'm using to um, set my CPU is the Quick CPU. So we'll just open that and we can add a profile here. So here you can change the setting. The Trinity comes overclocked at 1640 megahertz. You can actually slide this to make that come down some or you can move it over. Uh, you can also change your minimum CPU uh, and you can also change the governor. Uh, now what the governor does is it just kind of pulls the CPU, it pulls it up if it needs to be pulled up and it brings it back down if it needs to be brought back down. You can do things like power save which makes it kind of low all the time or conservative which kind of keeps it low all the time so uh, your system may not feel quite as fast um, but you will save on battery life. You can also do performance where it just brings up the CPU speed at all times that will really kill your battery very fast but you'll notice that your system is always always fast. So guys, that has been how to install a kernel on the Nexus 7. Uh, you can check me out at Droid Modder X for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me at Droid Modder X on Twitter. And thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.